let's find out what energy you are currently exuding so that we can then tap into the part two portion of this reading which is going to tell you what energy are you currently attracting based on what energy you're currently giving off but let's focus on one topic at a time if you are here at part one this is again a reading all about what inner energy you are currently exuding we have group number one with Stingray, group number two with Raccoon, group number three with the Elephant, and group number four with the Tiger Spirit. Feel free to leave love in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoy topics just like this. And don't forget to head on over to part two so that you can find out what energy you are currently attracting based on the energy that you are exuding. If you're interested in booking a personal reading or if you're interested in joining Patreon, that will be linked in the description box down below, as well as methods to donate to the channel and our other social media. No long talking, let's go ahead and get started. And you already know, Talians, those of you that are already subscribed to the channel, have an extra special message at the end just for you. Let's go ahead and hop in. Stingray energy. Those of you that resonate with group number one, then this is your reading. Let's go ahead and find out what energy are you currently exuding. I'm immediately picking up on peace within the self. You may be seeing a lot of sixes, a lot of nines, um, and a lot of root chakra energies could be calling to you about where to plant certain seeds, where to start building, what new beginnings to step forward and initiate. Um, some of you are also prepping for announcements here. The energy that you're currently exuding is courageous. Leo fifth house energy, solar plexus energy. We have ninth house seeking. There we go. We did talk about seeing nines. Your vision is taking off. You're seeing into higher realms. Um, you're thinking bigger. You feel all prepared for whatever comes your way. You're exuding an immense sense of confidence at this time. We have the number 10, Moon and Leo energy. That's fifth house energy. Discovery. You have the courage to do something to go somewhere, to say something. And this sense of freedom has you in this electromagnetic energy. You may literally experience like um, like shocking people, like physical touch. Like if you accidentally brush up against someone or even on purpose, if you hug them, you might experience a lot of um, like shocks more frequent, frequently right now. Or this is a metaphor for you feeling like sparks are flying between you and a romantic interest or even just between you and a friend. Um, if whether it's platonic sparks, friendly sparks or romantic sparks. But there's just this deeper sense of Living in the moment and having a YOLO but sensible attitude about you, YOLO meaning you only live once, so why not take the chance kind of energy about you, but still paired with wisdom. There's an energy around you or a person in your life that is making you feel extremely safe. This could be 
um, the source that you pray to. This could be um, a passed on loved one. This could be whatever the energy is. I don't try to slap a label on it. The energy is just good energy, but it's an energy that makes you feel safe, loved, and secure. Which is why I am picking up on that root chakra energy. You're feeling confident and secure enough in yourself to make a choice. I think that you've been in the balance for a while because you were afraid to make a choice and afraid to commit or afraid to um, fail one time and have to try again. There was just this there was failure to commit. And the thing is, is that when there's failure to commit, there's still a failure. It's like you're failing to commit because you want to omit failure, yet you're still failing. So it's like you might as well try and fail if that's even your reality, because it doesn't have to be. That's just a fear. And what even is failure? You have to define failure and then redefine life around that. To me, failure is just giving up completely. You're just like, you know what? I'm over it. That's when you fail. But if you're still pushing, you're still striving, you're still trying, there's no way that you could possibly fail because you're still putting an effort. And this is not to say, oh yeah, as long as I'm half-assing my way through, like everything will be fine. No, like put your back into it, you know? You have to know that there's seasons. Your tarot card is the Five of Cups. Seasons, yes. So you may have even experienced some form of... Again, I try not to stick with the labels, but what would be commonly classified as seasonal depression. Um, and the reason why I try not to follow that label so often is because... In reality, I feel that you can change how you feel based on certain actions and it may take you a while to pull yourself out of that quote unquote seasonal depression but it's finding that sweet spot to say oh this is helping and keep finding things that help until eventually you realize that you've healed yourself what if this sense of depression is really just a sense of feeling stagnant or left behind so then you create some sort of momentum this momentum does not have to be a distraction it could be something healthful for you which is what i feel like you've um dived into as of late uh you could have found yourself more interested in travel massages and or workouts something like this Something about your back. Some of you, um, there's something about like your, your spine or your posture, uh, Kundalini energy. Thank you. That energy needs to be moving. Okay. So if you're feeling a little depressed, move those hips around. There's some energy that needs to be pushed out. There's a healthful cure for everything that you feel. That's just my personal opinion. And your final card, the Four of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing, the current energy that you're exuding is this. You have all these grand ideas, these fanciful thoughts. And you're holding on to them because you doubt them. This seems to be the energy that you're coming from. And stepping into that, I could do this. For some of you, you've taken this step and you feel as though you had failed in some way, shape, or form. But what you're doing now is dusting yourself off and getting back up again. 
you seem to be in this energy um, where you're exuding the vibe that you've got your mojo back. There seems to be more eyes on you, more attention on you, more energy on you. Because you purposely withdrew your energy is what I'm getting. This was intentional withdrawal. But this also leads to the question too, to say, is withdrawal really that healthy for you or the manner in, with you, in which you withdraw is that healthy for you? Because there's a need to focus on your solar plexus for this group right here. And your solar plexus does not thrive in whatever way you choose to withdraw. For whatever reason, the ways that you choose to withdraw draws on your confidence. Choosing to withdraw or going into hermit mode should have nothing to do with your sense of self. Unless you're just trying to load But you shouldn't go into hermit mode every time you feel embarrassed or every time something doesn't go your way. And if you are going into hermit mode all those times, are you doing those things healthfully in a helpful manner? Or is it you going into hermit mode, hiding away, eating all the bag of chips and watching this and doing that, like all these unhealthy things? Or is you withdrawing taking you more towards the gym, taking you more towards education, taking you more towards your inner self, your inner world and tidying it up as opposed to dwelling in the darkness. So the energy that you're currently exuding right now is that you're making a choice to thrive and to take another step forward. Just because this is the energy that you're exuding and I'm expressing, it doesn't mean that this is how people are observing it, but to the human eye, you just look confident. You look ready to take on the next task. You look lively. And this is the energy that you are currently exuding. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Be sure to head on over to part two so you can find out what the energy you exude attracts to you in energy. If you're interested in booking a personal reading or joining Patreon, that will be linked in the description box down below. And of course, if you are a Italian, I'll see you at the very end. I'm off. Group number two that resonates with the raccoon energy. What energy is group number two currently exuding? You're exuding this energy of I said what I said, okay? And this I said what I said removes something that you have ownership of from a space, okay? For some of you, this is like, I said that my child's not going here, so you remove your child from that space. Um, for some of you, this is you saying, I refuse to sell my brand here, so you're removing your brand from this space. Um, for others of you, this is I refuse to have my the person that is in my care um, in this space, so you remove them from that space. For some of you, this is backing out of a contract or backing out of a deal because you said what you said. There's like this energy of, I'm really easy, cool, and great to get along with until you violate the terms of the contract. So the energy that you're currently exuding right now is a boss energy. It's giving Capricorn. You're exuding this energy where you feel like you could take on the world, where you feel like you're climbing towards mountaintops. But climbing towards those mountaintops requires you to decline certain offers, to know your worth, to know when to stop for water. But you're ascending quickly because you are in this energy of I said what I said. Look at this. You seem to be in search of the right opportunity for you and you're not afraid to turn down the ones that just don't sit right with you.
you're jumping on opportunities and being mindful of their results. We have fulfillment. See, look at that. You refuse to settle. You refuse to settle until you see exactly what you want. You're in a non-compromising or non-negotiable energy. Look at this, the two of pentacles. It's like, I'm not going to sit here and, and do this or that, play tit for tat with you. This is what I said. Either you take it or leave it. Which one is it? There's a very confident, secure, and matter-of-fact energy surrounding you at this time. And it's very obvious when you are and are not interested. Look at that, the Empress. This reading couldn't have panned out any smoother. And this is exactly what you are walking into is something smooth, easy, promising, because you're not compromising your boundaries or compromising your standards. Because when you compromise these standards or these boundaries, you're automatically already taking it beneath the bar. So everything that happens beneath the bar, which is already the whole entire connection, the whole entire contract, the whole entire relationship, if you settle, everything that goes on below that bar is going to be taking you lower and lower and lower and lower below that bar and be like, you know what, this is not for me. Yet if you set a bar, set a standard and rise above or meet that standard, then anything that comes along with it, you can handle it. Never settle. That is the energy that you are exuding right now. I would love to know in what way you are exuding this in your life. Take a moment to pause and reflect and maybe leave a little comment down below and let me know how have you decided to never settle? In what way is that reflecting in your world? For a lot of you, this is about um, parenthood, marriage, even your friendships. Okay, I'm even seeing for some of you, it has to do with what, you wear, what you're wearing um, or the art that you're painting, the craft that you're making. Never settle is the energy that you are currently exuding. And it's just as simple as that, quite frankly. If you're interested in booking a personal reading or if you're interested in joining Patreon gang, that will be linked in the description box down below. Be sure to head on over to part two so you can find out what the energy that you're exuding is attracting to you in energy. And if you're a Italian, I'll see you at the very end of this video. But until next time, take care, be well. Voila. Group number three that resonates with this elephant, I am hearing the number one. I'm going to let you do what you will with that number. I'm not going to tell you what it means and none of that, but I am picking up on the number one. All right, so elephant energy and the energy that you're currently exuding. So, of course, the energy that you're exuding right now is big, it's big energy, but it's gentle energy. And it's only loud when necessary. Saturn, wisdom. You're exuding a very grounded energy. Leaving. Let me... Yeah, let's do that just to keep it... Just to keep it clean. We have leaving with the sun in Capricorn energy. So we have heavy Capricorn energy. This is giving um, heavy cardinal vibrations because although elephants are earthy, this is a fire element. It's giving cardinal, very much Capricorn. The energy that you're exuding right now is all of the the things that we love about that song, I gotta go my own way. 
from High School Musical. I gotta go my own way. Okay. <laughs> this is the current energy that you're exuding. It's like, I want to stay, but I must go. We have the lovers. You know what, just in case they want to, I don't know, it's just, it's on me to, to cover it up today. So we're going to do it today. That could have something to do with what you're going through. Sensitivity? Yeah, 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 yeah. Something about sensitivity. Self-conscious. Seven of Cups, yeah. Something is off whack. I'm sorry. See, this is what I'm saying. Something I meant to say something is out of balance. Or something is off. Or something is whack. Or it's teetering. It's something's off. Point blank period. You're in a space where you're like, I know, I'm wise enough to recognize, uh-huh, the wisdom of the elephant. I'm wise enough to recognize when something is off. And so confusion that surrounds any decisions in your life, you know to leave. You seem to be exuding this energy. Anything unaligned must go. Anything confusing must go. Anything against the rules must go. And I feel like these are your rules, your standards, your boundaries, which you have every right to have. And you know that you cannot force anyone to align with your boundaries, your rights, your rules, but you can control how much access they have to you or not based on said rules. And then even with these energies here, I ended up covering this with a root chakra crystal and a crown chakra kind of crystal. So from your feet to the tippy top of your head you know something or you know better than something it's kind of giving this two and two you know better than the mix the two or something like that and it's because of your previous experience there's like you already know you shouldn't add this in the mix because it will cause turmoil there's literally a waste management truck outside right now so it's like you know what needs to be taken out you know where, where the clutter is because you know yourself you know what's throwing you off balance you know what's throwing you off kilter So the energy that you're also exuding is self-sovereignty and recognizing your own energy versus someone impeding or intruding. You're in this energy where you are much more capable of separating yourself from the situation, separating your personal feelings from the actions or lack thereof of others. You're kind of sobering up to life in a way that is healthy for you. You're leaving behind a mentality, you're leaving behind a choice or leaving behind a person, leaving behind um, a relationship with someone. Just because you leave it behind doesn't mean that it's never there. There could still be times and instances where you touch bases. It's not like a you're dead to me kind of thing. It's just say, I can only deal with you from this distance here. Because I'm wise enough to know better. 
And I gained that wisdom, that knowledge, that knowing from experience. All right, y'all. So this is the energy that you're currently exuding. Be sure to head over to part two to find out what the energy that you're currently exuding is drawing into you. Sending you so much love, so much life. If you're a Talian, I'll see you at the very end of this video for an extra special Talian message, just because you're subscribed to the channel. And also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading or if you're interested in joining Patreon gang, links are in the description box down below. And I'm off. Group number four. I'm hearing the numbers two and one. I will let you do what you will with those numbers. Let's go ahead and find out what energy are you currently exuding. Immediately it's giving femme energy activating into a protective stance, a protective energy. You seem vigilant. And the thing is, is that not only are you vigilant, you learn through observation. You have a very like dead serious look in your eyes. Oh, why did I put that there? 12th house, surrender. The energy that you are currently exuding I'm smiling as I say this and I'm seeing like the energy that you're currently exuding is that you give no flux. We have power here. Yeah. North node. Like you just know you can do no wrong. There's something here like you just you really know what you want and you're really going for it. Like nothing can stop you kind of energy. Oh my gosh, yeah, six of wands. The current energy that you are exuding is that you know your power source. You know where your confidence comes from. You know who you are, you know who you're not. And so there's just this very unbothered energy radiating off of you at this time. Oh my gosh, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. This is like top tier confidence. I feel like confidence isn't even the right word for it. This is like comfortability within the self acceptance of self to the utmost extreme like there's no faking this sort of power and when i say power i mean this sense of self and i was going back to that eyes thing it's like your eyes say I know I'm this, sh you know? That's what your eyes say. There's something youthful or feline like about you. Oh, yeah, literally a feline. Because I was looking at this tiger and that made me think that. I I'm. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at this cat. He wants to be a tiger. He thinks he's a tiger. You've got a fierce sense of independence exuding off of you right now. Where most people have power because of their possessions, you have power because of who you are. For some, people might argue that you have an exaggerated sense of self, but 
the real question is what is the definition of an exaggerated sense of self if you are yourself you are the only one who can exaggerate or accentuate you which means that there's a reason why you are you and you have the power to exaggerate or accentuate yourself because if you don't do it who will you are exuding this energy that challenges self-sacrifice And although you are in this position that is challenging self-sacrifice, you are still humble. You could quite literally be quiet. Maybe the I don't speak unless spoken to type. You may wear a lot of black and I feel like you are very misunderstood. I'm seeing black and leather, but then I'm also seeing the color white. So two opposite ends of the spectrum in my eyes. But you know that perception of you does not define you. And this is written all over you. So, if you're a Talian, I'll see you at the very end of this video for the extra special Talian message. All right. And if you're interested in joining Patreon gang or if you're interested in booking a personal reading, those will be linked in the description box down below. And please leave a love in the comment section down below to let me know how this resonates with you. And don't forget to head into part two to find out what the energy you exude is currently attracting to you in energy. All right, let's go ahead and kick it off. See ya. Here we are in part two. If you're here, that means that you should have already seen part one, which is all about what energy you're currently exuding. And now in part two, we are going to get into what energy are you currently attracting based on the energy that you exude? These two readings are meant to work in tandem. So please use them as such. Leave love in the comment section down below. If you're interested in booking a personal reading or if you're interested in joining Patreon gang, that will be linked in the description box down below. And let's go ahead and get started. We have group number one with the rabbit, group number two with cheetah, Group number three with Fox and group number four with Unicorn. Feel free to pause the screen if needed to make your selections. And of course, if you're a Talian, there is an extra special Talian message at the end just for you. So be sure to stay tuned just for that. And being a Talian just means that you're already subscribed to the channel. So hit the subscribe button and you'll be included next time as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Group number one that resonates with this rabid spirit. Let's go ahead and find out what kind of energies are you currently attracting based on the energy that you are exuding. Okay. I'm picking up on Knight of Wands kind of energy. They they teeter between Knight of Wands and Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, these could be youthful energies or energies that remind you of something of your past. These people seem to be drawn to you, attracted to you for The way that you seem to balance the scale for them. And I have to say that I feel like these are individuals that physical appearance, physique really means a lot to these people. Okay, so they could be into sports or just into working out in general, just into health. These individuals could be considered spicy 
Okay, so they're appealing to most people's eye. And so with that comes their own desire for eye candy. Okay, so basically I said this in a long-winded way to say that you're attracting people that feel as though they are hot and you are hot. And so they want to see if y'all can make something sizzle, make something pop, make some fire. In whatever way that that means. For some it's dirty, for others it's clean. But you are definitely enticing. This is the energy that you are currently drawing in. See, that's that energy that I was talking about, like that Knight of Wands energy. Um, this could be the type of individual that works a lot or literally cares so much about their physique. They work out a lot. So this is someone who doesn't have a lot of time, but when they do have time, they do want to give it to you. Hey, I'm just letting you know what kind of energy you're attracting. So that you could be cognizant to know if this is something you you down with or not. See the moon. Yeah. These are like fly by night people. I'm not going to lie. So now what I want to help you do is to dive into this fly by night energy. Um, why is this the energy that you're attracting? And once we find the why, then we can establish if you want to continue to be in that energy or if you want to switch up your vibe. All right, so this is just a message to help you help you. All right, so why are my group number ones currently attracting these fly-by-night folks? What is this about? Goes back to physique, so some of it you can't help, okay? We have the Seven of Cups. The Four of Cups reverse and judgment. Bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Seven Cups, Four Cups, Three Cups. These individuals are drawn to you because you seem fun, lively. and free from the mundane aspects of connections. Again, there's like this this spicing up energy that I that I'm picking up on. So, these energies are really drawn to you above all because of your exuberance, because you look lively, you look youthful, you look like you're down for whatever. So, these could be the types of people that come into your life and be like, "Hey, let's go shopping today." And then you don't hear from them again until like two months away your advice here if you don't like this energy is to simply not entertain it to not think twice about it yeah with the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck I'm being reminded of this is your choice And in order to make a sound decision for yourself, you have to listen to yourself. Do you feel like it's time for a healthy dose of uh, that blue moon going out? You know, like I only go out every blue moon or I only do this every blue moon. Do you think that it's time for one of those? Do you want to make time for one of those? Again, it's up to you. You may have been in a state where you're like, "Ugh, I'm bored, I'm lonely, I'm tired, I'm this and that. And now you're being given the opportunity to change that. And it's up to you to decide in what manner you would like to change that, if you would. So let me know in the comment section down below how this reading resonated for you. How do you feel about the fly-by-night energies? Have they shown up in friends, romantic interests, jobs? What is it? If you're a Talian, I'll see you at the very end for the extra special subscriber message just for you. But without further ado, I'm off. Group number two with the cheetah spirit. Let's go ahead and find out what energies are currently attracted to you. 
based on the energy that you are exuding. So again, this is part two. Be sure to head on over into part one if you haven't seen it already, which is all about the energy that you're exuding. So that's how these two readings connect. The energy that you exude has a direct correlation to the energy that you attract. Sometimes it's the energy that is complete opposite of you, or it could be a mirroring image of you. But that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and dive into it, love. Okay, wow. Very fast, furious, fun, fantastical, fanciful energy, okay? Calling back. Sagittarius. Yeah, this is like for a good time. So these could be literal children or just... I'm seeing people that you can only take so much of. Right now, I'm being brought to this fifth house energy and this like thing going round and round. It makes me feel like I'm going to like throw up because I'm just feeling lightheaded. I need to lay down. Like you need a break from these people. They just people aren't moving at your pace right now which Sagittarius energy at the at the center of your reading here yeah there's just the people that are coming towards you that are most attracted to you this time they're just not your speed You may be attracting youthful energies. And the thing is, is like while they're trying to run away from time, you are falling into the flow of time, of life. <laughs> Didn't I say these people like wear you out, like you're about to pass out, like... You're drawing in very fast paced, fun, exciting energy. And the thing is, what's so interesting is that you actually get them riled up like this, but you yourself are in a very calm, mysterious energy. But it's like the mystery in you that makes them want to just jump out and like see if they could bring you out of this shell that they've perceived you to be in or if it's not breaking you out of a shell it's will you allow them into your safe space there's like this meeting in the middle like are you going to come to my side or do i need to come to your side Let's dive into this and find out why you're currently attracting these kind of energies and if you would like to change that, how can you? Let's see. Talk to me about my group number twos. Why are they currently drawing this energy? Swords, uh, eight of swords. Ten of wands. Page of swords. Bottom of the deck is the star. Something about something being on replay. I'm hearing put this song on replay. I could listen to you all day, you know, all day. Yeah. This is Zendaya replay. That's a that's a throwback jam.
So the way to bring change to this situation, to this dynamic, because I feel like you've grown tired of the energies that you're attracting. So the requirement here now is to switch your environment cut the cords like if you want different results you need to make different moves this calling back energy wow i just realized that this is someone on a motorcycle i did not see that i did not see that until now because i was wondering like who are these dolls it's cords that need to be cut between you and a specific type of energy that you always seem to draw in by people. Changing your environment means visiting different places, saying yes to different spaces, saying no to the same old places. This requires you to decline certain calls. or to make time for certain calls. There's just a need for newness if you want to attract different energy. Because this calling back and this cheetah is like zooming through all this. The type of people that you're currently attracting are the ones that fast forward through the moments that matter the most in life. And this is not your cup of tea. You are more of a slow and steady wins the race type. You're more of a teamwork makes a dream work type. You start off with eight swords, 10 wands, and end up with this one sword and this one wand. The, the brooms represent wands. So you end up with the best of the best. Now for some of you, being in this environment is actually helpful for you, although it does tire you out. Um, the reason why it could be helpful is because it keeps you fresh. It keeps you renewed. It keeps you relevant in whatever field you're in. Like maybe you're a teacher and it's always helpful to know like what's cool with the kids, you know, like it's, it could be one of those things. But even if that's the case, you can still find yourself outside of certain environments like this that are more useful, that are more slow paced for you. You just need to balance um, more slow pace energies if you're going to be still participating with this fast life stuff over here so let me know in the comment section down below how does this resonate for you have you seen these types of people jobs opportunities coming towards you faster than you seem to be ready for let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested in booking a personal reading or if you're interested in joining patreon that will be linked in the description box down below as well and be sure to head on over into part one if you haven't seen that already about what energy you're currently exuding. And I will see you at the very end if you are a Talian, subscribe to this channel already for the extra special subscriber message. But I'm off. All right, so for my Fox group, my Fox group, all right. The very first word that I'm hearing is labyrinth. So the types of individuals that you are currently attracting are masterminds, could be air signs, okay? Capricorn energy is also very much in that energy. Uh, you could be um, attracting mischievous minds. And when I say mischievous, it doesn't mean that they are trying to do you any harm. It's more of they are aware of their power, they're aware of shadows. Yeah, with this Scorpio energy, they're aware of their influence or aware of certain loopholes, if you will. And they're not afraid to push the envelope, to push the boundaries, to start a little trouble, okay? So you may be um, 
attracting in some troublemakers here but um, it's giving rebels with a cause yeah the six of swords they really don't want no drama they really don't want no problems but there's a problem that needs to be resolved and they're not afraid to challenge or bend some rules in order to do so this could be major bending of rules or minor bending of rules it really varies from situation to situation but above all you're definitely attracting people that there's something here about them um having more knowledge than your average joe Hence, Capricorn, the boss, the boss knows more about the company that they are ruling over than the employees that are simply just working there. You know, like it's, there's something that makes these people stand out. These are like the ballers of the ballers. These are the real big dogs not the not the fake or pretend ones you're attracting big names to you big is subjective to whoever you're talking to but like right now i'm getting like high competitors like um like Walmart or Target or Home Depot or Best Buy, like these stores that people know about. These are companies, people that are known in some arena. For some of you, this is like uh, athletes. Specifically, could be someone that does like water sports or water polo. They've been they've been crowned or they've been awarded. They're verified. They're they're like they're cool. Like they get a pass. Like when they when they go to the the VIP or whatever, they get entry in for free. Like it's like a hey, what up, dog? And I'm here you're attracting well-respected business-minded individuals as of right now so because of that you're also being not warned but just guided to say watch where you're stepping or watch how you're stepping so that you don't step on nobody's Giuseppe's or whatever they're wearing. <laughs> okay. There's like this, be yourself, be big, be bold, be courageous, but watch your step. You don't want to step in these shiz around these people. Yeah, It's better to keep your nose clean here. I don't know. I don't know why it's like all secretive like this maybe for some of you you're trying to get into like um like fraternities sororities or um groups or elite society i don't know like whatever you guys are trying to do um yeah that's the type of energy that you're attracting um this group i don't really feel guided to expand on this energy um which says a lot because i expanded on the last two groups before you but this one was understood need not be explained they don't need to introduce themselves. They don't need to deepen the conversation. They're like, this is what it is. And that's who you're attracting. Sending you so much love, so much life. If you are a Talian, I'll see you at the very end with the extra special subscriber message just for you at this time. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal reading or if you're interested in joining Patreon game, that will be linked in the description box down below. Amongst other things like our other socials or ways to donate to the channel. Always appreciate it. And until next time, take care. Be well. See ya my unicorn group unicorn group let's find out what kind of people are you attracting to you okay so these could be members of the lgbt community uh there was a tiktok where somebody said lgbt they're part of the lgbt okay so um they could be don't have to be um 
these are oddball characters i'm seeing like pink red orange yellow green hair okay moon feelings okay so these are those that are for the dramatics okay they are the type that will tell you to go big or go home baby okay these are individuals that are not afraid to be themselves yes look at this bliss these could be individuals that would be maybe considered hippy dippy type of vibes very lightweight vibrations they feel like a mist energies that you're currently drawing towards you bliss in many different forms you're going to be attracting people into your world that lead you to blissful experiences that you will search for for a lifetime like a healthy drug if you will what I mean by that is you feel this form of freedom that you've never felt before. So you start skydiving, you start hiking, you start doing this, you start doing that, and it makes you feel freer. You're being introduced to people that make you feel freer, thus setting you free. People that have claimed their independence in a multitude of ways to prove that anything is possible. So you are attracting a lot of creative souls to you. People that want nothing more than for you to succeed, for you to pop off, for you to do whatever you do to support you. These are the types of people that would never want to see you fall. These are genuine souls. This fixed energy here, like, when they say that they're down for you, they're down for you. Loyalty. The most prominent energy here is really highlighting how genuine these people are. And for some reason, that alone says enough for this group. Genuine, sincere people. Yeah, see, look at that. Oh, that throat chakra, I'm telling you. They're like, you said enough. Pure, authentic souls that say what they mean, mean what they say. And want you to win just like them at the end of the day. This reading was quick, but these are the types of energies that you are drawing into you at this moment in time. I don't feel guided to expand on this energy because this is beautiful, positive energy to be attracting towards you. So that says a lot about the last two groups in this portion of what energies are being attracted to you versus the first two which i had to clarify the energies because they were not the most favorable they weren't awful but they weren't the most favorable but you have favorable energies being attracted to you at this time and so this is not to compare you to any other groups but it's for you to show gratitude for the serenity the harmony in your life at this time so this is all that I have for you. Until next time, take care of you all. Bye. I'll see you with the Talian message if you are subscribed. My Taliones message. We have the Buffalo spirit for my Taliones. Y'all already know what's goody. What's goody for my Taliones? Mars, Pisces. Conjunction empowerment.
So it seems that you are fighting the clock or going against the grain in some way, shape, or form. And what I mean by that is, astrologically speaking, it wouldn't be a good time to do this or to do that, but you have to for whatever reason. Like, let's say that this is not, astrologically speaking, a good time to take a test, or this is not, astrologically speaking, a good time to get this surgery, whatever. But for whatever reason, you have to. You going against the grain in this way, facing this head on, is actually strengthening you, empowering you, so that once things do align, astrologically speaking, it'll be beautiful, simple, easy, breezy. There's something, it's like, basically you're, there's this, these two points that you could go in. You could wait a little bit longer for an easier process, or you could go through the struggle Oh my gosh, not a fly in here. There's never, it's crazy, whatever. It's very rarely a fly, but now there's a fly. Anyways, so you could take the easier path that would take a little bit longer, or you're like, or I could take the shorter path would, which would take more effort and energy, but this still appeals to me more. And so you're following through with that. Like, yeah, it's a little bit more difficult, but at least that way I'll be prepared when the difficult levels come. I'll be able to go stronger, harder, further, longer than everybody else. We have protection. Healing at the bottom of the deck. So Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, this is like this vibe where you're like i'm i'm ready for this no matter what the stars say or no matter what this says like they're like i put this on i put this off long enough i'm ready for this i'm ready for that um i'm also picking up here too there's something about underestimation um where it seems as though you've been under a cloak or you've been protected not being seen putting in the hard work so then when you pop out and that hard work is paying off for all eyes to see it's like whoa you really have been working look at that the king of wands bottom of the deck the empress yeah wow you really have been working on you you really have been doing this you really have been doing that and have and did and do and will look they the ones that ain't gonna stop shiz the five of swords like you're in this vibe where it's like you thought you thought that was gonna stop something just because it's more difficult, you thought it was going to stop some? No, it just made me better. Just because it has stressed me out for a couple of months, you thought it was going to stop some? Nah. Let's see, what else can we add here for my Talians? Look at that, the Queen of Swords. You thought it was going to stop some? Oh my gosh, the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. You thought she was going to stop some? Bonus card. Oh my gosh, stop. The Queen of Cups fell in my lap. We have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The only queen that's missing here is the Queen of Pentacles. And look at who's right behind the Empress. Right behind the Two of Cups is the Empress. Wow. Uh, I'm getting something here about like, consider yourself proven. Consider it done or consider there's something here about like consider yourself the winner like or congratulations like you you won in some way shape or form there's something here about you've won something there's that queen of pentacles you won something or you are winning something let's see what's beyond this knight of pentacles because it seems like there's something very promising over there three of swords knight of cups 
to the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, like slowed down, might have paused, but now we right back at it. The Knight of Pentacles slows down to the Three of Swords and then pops back out as the Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, better than ever before. Bottom of the deck is a chariot. You, you choose. You thought that was going to stop something? Well, I choose not to let it. And that's all that I have for my Talian. Sending you so much love, so much life. Five, five, five on a timer.